You took a pretty big hit. You went from full work mode. You were the identity of what you thought success was, but totally loathing it at the same time and exhausted and in pain and mm. horrendous gut problems and sleep problems and anxiety and depression. What was the most challenging thing initially about chronic fatigue syndrome? Was it the symptoms? Mm. Was it the unknown was it the identity or the loss of identity of going from corporate? Yeah, you're taking me back. <laughs> One of the reasons I'm laughing, I can remember sitting on the couch in front of you in a coaching session back when the clinic was in Melbourne and you saying to me, <laughs> you're quite high functioning though. And me just thinking I am such a facade because I just felt like I was none of that. And I just entered the program and was just getting an understanding of the principles, which is leading into my answer. That was a really actually important moment for me to have you reflect that back to me and it not be what I was feeling inside. Yeah. And so acceptance was huge, so much acceptance. And it was a loss of identity because mm. I was living independently I was living this corporate lifestyle. I was living in an apartment in my favorite suburb. And I felt like I was building a life and acquiring status and moving in this certain direction. And all of a sudden I was faced with this very clean, clear decision. Do you want to feel well? Or do you want to keep pushing down this path that is not feeling high functioning whatsoever? If this is the existence of life, I really don't know that I want it. But the health option for me, what part of that looked like was, yeah, okay, you're not going to be able to work, which means you're going to be financially dependent on someone or something else. You can't live independently anymore either. I can remember that night that I was telling you about, I was literally crawling on the ground to get to the kitchen to just get some food because I knew that's what my body needed, even though the thought of eating also had me feeling like I was just going to be sick. And acceptance was a huge piece of that. I was going to the farmer's markets every weekend. I was going to yoga a lot. I had definitely started opening to some of these ways of life as well. But the, for the most part, I could no longer do the things that had lit me up inside or that I thought were important to me. And a big part of that is I actually had to make the decision to move overseas to China and live with my dad yeah. because he was able to care for me and financially support me. And that meant the relationship I was in just couldn't coexist with that choice letting go of my location, letting go of my job, but also my dad and I didn't have much of a relationship at all. Before mm. that, we might have spoken a couple of times a year, very shortly, and maybe seen each other once a year. But I also, wow. again, in my heart of hearts, I knew that that relationship and healing that was going to be a really big part of my recovery as well. 